Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever explored the auto brightness mode on your phone? Isn't it interesting how with changing light, the screen brightness automatically adjusts itself? How does this happen? Well, this has been made possible with the help of light sensors. Light sensors convert light energy into electrical energy. The application of light sensors range from their use in brightness control in your mobile phone to agriculture to their use in security alarm systems. In today's video, we'll be discussing a few common types of light sensors, which are photodiodes, photoresistors, phototransistors, and charge coupled devices. First, we'll talk about the most common type of light sensor, the photodiode. Photodiodes have found their application from the remote controls of televisions to smoke detectors. Photodiodes consist of a PN junction which is connected in reverse bias, where the P junction is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the N terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Due to this, a white depletion layer is formed. When photons from light fall on the depletion region, it leads to the generation of electrons and holes. The holes move toward the p-junction and the electrons move towards the n-junction. This leads to the generation of charges which contribute to the flow of current. Thus, the amount of current produced is directly proportional to the intensity of light. Next, we'll be discussing about photoresistors. A photoresistor is a variable resistor whose resistance varies depending upon the amount of light that it is exposed to. It can be used to detect the presence or absence of light. As light is exposed to the photoresistor, the resistance decreases which leads to more current flow. They are used in clock sensors, automatic street lights, etc. Now, this brings us to our next type of light sensor called the phototransistor. Like the photodiode, phototransistors also conduct depending on the light falling on them. They are used for position sensing, security systems, etc. The only difference here is that a transistor is being used. In a photodiode, the light falling on the depletion region leads to the flow of current, whereas in a phototransistor, light falling on the transistor's base leads to the flow of charges. The phototransistor is more sensitive to light when compared to the photodiode. Given here is the symbol of a phototransistor. In the absence of light, a small current flows from the collector to the emitter. When light falls on the base, it leads to the generation of charge carriers. Phototransistors convert light energy into electrical energy. Depending on the intensity of light falling on the base terminal, the same amount will be converted into current. A camera captures what we see and produces it in digital form. Have you asked yourself how does this happen? Well, this is done with the help of charge coupled devices or CCD. CCD have light sensitive arrangements called pixels. A CCD is made up of millions of pixels. These pixels are P layer of silicon separated by a depletion layer from an N type silicon layer. Here we take a small section of these pixels. When light falls on these screens, it releases electrons. These freed electrons are captured by the capacitor which is placed below the PN junction layer. This is then processed by the computer and we get the image in a digital form on the screen. CCDs are also used in fax machines and photocopiers. Well, that's all the time we have for this video, guys. We've covered the different types of light sensors. Hope this helped you. Stay tuned for more such videos that will explain the concepts that you learned in your engineering. Until the next one, bye.